This video follows on from my first video with a Ubuntu machine on a Windows domain. In this video I'm going to focus on three things to use your experience surrounding the logon process. Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to Crazy Logic. So the three things I'm going to focus on are um, removing the annoying welcome to Ubuntu screen after logon, uh, removing the local account, so this um, standard interface that you get with Ubuntu, so removing that and asking for the username and password as you would expect with a Windows domain account. And then lastly looking at allowing users to log on with just their username without the fully qualified domain name. Removing the welcome screen once a user has logged, on, logged in is actually very simple. So you need to have a account with sudo privileges, uh, so I'm going to use my local Dave account. And then once I'm logged in, I'm going to go to a terminal and then I'm going to remove a package. So um, this package is what is responsible for that annoying pop up uh, when you log in for the first time. So sudo apt remove and then it's genome uh, initial initial setup with hyphens in between. So removing that package will remove that annoying pop-up for new users. That's that one done. Second thing is the removing the local accounts or the any accounts on the, the logon screen and asking for the username and password. So this is a little bit more complicated so I'll have to stick the instructions on how to do this um, in the description or I'll stick it on my website. So I'm going to go to a terminal and then we need to create essentially a new um, genome desktop manager profile so I'm going to go to a certain folder so dconf profile uh, gdm so I'm going to use uh, nano to do this so sudo nano and I'm going to create a file called gdm and in this file I'm going to create um, essentially the basics of a profile so user dash db colon user system dash db gdm file dash db colon user share gdm greater dconf Get double check that's right, and I'll write that out to that file. So there we can see the GDM profile. Same thing we need to do is create a uh, key file that's associated with this. So we'll do that next, and I'll stick all these instructions in. I'll have to stick these instructions in the uh, description because they're a little bit more complex. So here I'm going to have to make a folder, so do it as sudo, uh, yeah, sudo. And then again, making a file. And again, I'm going to write that out and close that down. And then we need to do a uh, sudo dconf uh, update. Great, and then we should just be able to restart this machine. Uh, so I'll log out and then restart this machine and it should actually have changed the way that uh, I can log on. So you can see it's already actually changed, it doesn't need a restart. So now as for username, so we'll go back in as Dave then it asks for a password, which is a much more similar experience to what you'd expect from Windows on a domain. Great, so the last thing we need to change is this annoying needing the uh, username at domain um, for the logon. So this comes with a bit of a caveat, which is if you've got a, a domain that's got a trust with any other domain, or you're in a forest with multiple domains, um, you probably don't want to be doing this because 
it will lead to issues, shall we say. So at the moment, to, to log in, you would need to do the apps domain uh, username. So administrator at domain.local is, is my username for this account, it's my administrator account. Um, however, we want to log in just as administrator. To change this, we need to change some settings to do with uh, SSSD, which is sort of like the, a group of programs that provide logon services. Let's put it that way. So I'm going to log back in with a account that has local sudo privileges. And I'm going to jump into a terminal once again. So from here, I'm actually going to quickly run a command. So real m or realm and then list. And you can see here, it says down the bottom, login formats. And this means user at domain.local. So it will only allow um, for login formats that meet this requirement. And this is what we need to change. So we're changing the login format. So the way you do this is by editing a file. So we're going to sudo nano and then it's in itsy uh, sssd sssd.conf and the option we want to change is this one here use fully qualified domain names so if we set that to false and then write this file out. You should now see that our login formats has changed to just username, sent you username. So if I then uh, log out, so from here I should now be able to log in as administrator without my fully qualified domain name. This is one of those ones where actually a restart is required. We'll try with the administrator account and it should have let us to log in should have let us log in without needing the domain after the username and you can also see it's changed our uh, username at host to not include that domain name so this is somewhat significant and it does come up uh, well it will come up in my next video actually as a difference in processing so whether you allow this or if you don't allow this it's kind of a fork in how your system is set up um, so yeah i think we'll leave that video here so that was fixing the user experience issues and um, now the logon experience is much similar or much more similar to what you'd expect from a windows machine on the domain uh, in the ubuntu world so in my next video i'm going to sort out um, sudo for admins and adding an active directory group to be the local admins uh, on the machine so they have sudo privileges or at least they can elevate up to have sudo privileges so yeah stick any in any questions any comments you have down in the comment section um thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos like this